Okay, I think this is ready to show off a little bit. Uh, can I explain a couple of things? There's six. There's six different programs on this uh, on the setup. You got Future Pinball, FX2, FX3, Pinball Arcade, Visual Pinball, and Zachariah. Pretty much the whole lot. Uh, there's over 1,400 tables total between the six programs. Um, in terms of the buttons, you've got three on top for main, which is going to have uh, a desktop mode that you can play on the back screen. Um, it's got a, you know, it's got a regular controller too, like a, uh, and it's got four buttons down here. You've got your start, you've got your coin, you've got your, I guess, kill front end, and then you've got your escape. And you know, each one is, I guess, maybe used for different things. You got two buttons on the side for each, uh, your flipper as well as your bumper. You got three screens. Um, also, I'm going to be putting the Pixelcade up there. Uh, it's gonna manually switch over and show, I guess maybe, I guess the, you know, the dot matrix displays for the various emulators. Um, but I'm currently have a problem with that because it's not registering with my computer. I'm not sure why. Uh, but um, let's kind of go in. You can actually use the controller on top to kind of flip between uh, the various programs, or you can use the side buttons as well. And um, yeah, so let's just kind of go in and launch each one individually, just so I can kind of show off the stability of the setup and uh, maybe show some, uh, you know, some of the media, etc. So going in, you're going to be pressing start and then it's going to just kind of give you the tables. I don't have 100% media on the future pinball side of things yet, um, as well as the visual. I mean, there's a lot of tables between the two uh, and, you know, it's a lot to consider. So, so I mean, um, most of it's here. Uh, not all of it, but most of it. Um, I'm just gonna pick a random table just to kind of show everything is launching as should. And it's pretty stable across the board. Let's uh, let's do Dragon's Lair. So we'll press start, start again. And there's also two, there's also two front ends on this as well. You've got both Pinup Popper as well as uh, uh, Pinball X and they both share media. So that's pretty good. Um, let's add coins. start and then uh, you can launch the ball and then you know whatever okay I'm gonna get out so to get out you're gonna press oh you're gonna press the escape button and it'll take you right out to uh, the front end again and then to get into another wheel you've actually got to press the coin and it'll kick you out to the beginning again so then let's go into Pinball Arcade. Uh, let's do, I don't know, let's, and well, let's just kind of show off the media first, I guess. There's 100% media now for the entire setup. So let's just pick a D, let's go to Ghostbusters. There we go. Loading complete. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Ghostbusters doesn't have a um uh it doesn't have a back glass. So, hold on. Let, let me let me actually just uh let, let, let me get out and, and launch another one. Give it a second. All right. Now we go back in. Let's do uh, let's do Adam's family. Add credits. 
Wants the ball. Uh, I'm trying to play with one hand. A little bit hard. Anyway, going to get out. Uh, we're going to press the escape button. It's going to um, go through the scripting and it's going to boot back into Pinball Popper. And um, let's go into FX2. I'm going to just pick a, a, a random wheel. Let's do South Park. Also, uh, once I kind of get the LED um, part figured out, I'll have it uh, set up for both Pinball Popper as well as uh, Pinball X. But right now, I just got a random pattern going on so let's uh oh but yeah and the bumps work as well so uh, anyway um can't play with one hand uh so get out oh shit i, I, I click the menu jesus it should it should boot back in there it goes. Uh, okay, um, let's go into uh, Pinball FX3. Um, it's going to error here. So what I did is I actually added macros to the coin and the start button to get around it. So what you're going to do is you're going to press coin and then start and then it'll boot right into the table. And then... Uh, Press it hard enough, but uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna uh, gonna get out. We're gonna go into. There we go. Anyway, okay, let's get out. And back here, and then we've got one more to show off, which is Zachariah. And then this is full media as well. I gotta get rid of this menu. Like, Jesus Christ. But yeah, anyways, that's Sakurai Pinball. I'm going to get out now. So yeah, if you want to get out, you just hit the X as escape button. And it will kick you out to the front end. And uh, I want to, it'll boot back up into the front end. And now if you want to quit, you pre actually press the exit the front end, which is four. And then I'll kick you out to Windows. Now I can get rid of this... Uh, Get rid of this menu. Um, let's go into Pinball Popper just for a second. 
Uh, it's going to have all the same features. Or I'm sorry, Pinball X. It's going to have all the same features as Pop as Popper. Well, it's just pinball. it has its own flavor, kind of thing. So. And my screen is getting a little bit dirty. I can see the glare. But uh, it looks similar, really. And um, it, it works exactly the same. So anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be my video for today. Uh, hopefully, I'll have this finished uh, within like two days or so. Uh, there's still some things that I kind of want to test and figure out. I've got to figure out the LED blinky because right now I just got a random... Um, I got, I got a random patterns that I can kind of utilize for at least the moment, but I would like to kind of interact. I've, I've already created all the profiles, etc. So um, I'm out for now. Thanks. Bye.